Hello everyone, welcome back with Onset Part Design Tutorials for exercise number one. Okay, in here I will create new drawings. You can click a document and I will set the name into Part Design 1. Click a create public document. We are waiting to drawing area. And then you can click a top lens. Click in here to change into top view. You can click sketch and we create a rectangle from center point I will set for length into 100 okay, for width into 100 the next we create circle in here for diameter we can set into 20 we create four circles in the corner with the diameter 20 okay. but in here we can set into 20 Next, create again circle in uh, this corner. Twenty, and then at uh, this corner point, twenty. Okay, use a polygon command with uh, this uh, circumscribe uh, polygon, and I will click start from this point to the top. I will set side into seven. I will create again in uh, this point to the top. Okay, in the bottom here. You can set into seven four sides and also at this point until you see that lines like this click and click again now we can set for distance from this point into here you can set into 20 and then from this point into here we can set into 20. now i will use trim command okay, you can click here and click trim I will cut at this line object. You can cut one by one this line. And then we cut at this point. The next in the bottom here. And the last at this corner. Okay, now you can click OK and you can press uh, right mouse to orbit. Use the extrude command to convert this cat into 3D. You can click here, extrude, and I will select up this face. You can change for extrusion into 100 and you can press enter to apply and click OK. The next I will orbit and we can select in the bottom here. Okay, you can click sketch and then I will create circle. You can sort from a center point in here. We can set in here for diameter into 60. And then I will close and you can use extrude command. Change into remove and we can set for deep into 20. Okay, for object you can select uh, this circle object. The next you can click OK to cut so it will be right in here or to remove the next in the top here I will select this face and you can click sketch we create a circle objects from center point in here and we can set for diameter into 60 the next we can use uh, extrude command okay, to extrude this uh, circle with extrusion 10 click OK and then I will select at this face we create circle from center point for diameter we can set into 44 press enter and then you can use extrude command with the remove tools you can select at the circles with the remove tools and we can set dips in 200 <coughs> click OK so it will be red holes, you can see. I will select up this face and we can change into left view. We create sketch. In here I will create the lines. Start from this uh, center point. Move into here. Okay, we create a rectangle. And then I will use uh, this dimension tools. I will set for angles. In here we can set into 45 degree. 
and then you can use the dimension again we can set from this point into here and we can set into zero press enter the next you can select at uh, this constraints and you can press delete button so to be moved to the top you can click ok to apply and then we can use <coughs> this extrusion tool change into remove and I will select at this face also in here use uh, symmetric and for deep you can move these arrows into this point and you can click OK to apply so it will be automatically cut the finally I will use fillet command you can click here fillet and we can set for radius into 2 I will select at this space okay you also select in here and at this edge one by one okay at this point we select one by one with the radius 2 okay click again in here is uh, all edge and the next in the top here and the last at this point the next you can orbit and we can select at uh, this eight and then you can click OK to apply the last we fill again in here we can set the radius into 5 and you can select at this edge click OK now we already create this uh, simple part design for exercise number 1 with uh, onset uh, software and if you have any question about this tutorial you can comment below this video